What is going on my YouTube friends? Guys, today we're gonna do a smoking video. That's right, we're gonna smoke ourselves a chicken. Yeah, buddy. But anyhow, you know, I haven't smoked in a while. It's been a while since I made a video for cooking or anything like that, so I figured today's a good day. Yes, yes it is. Happy Labor Day, everyone. Mm-hmm, today's Labor Day. We get the day off and we get to cook, drink beer, raise heck, whatever you wanna do. That's right, today's your day for working hard. So take it easy and enjoy yourself and enjoy your family. So we're gonna uh, smoke some uh, chicken, a whole chicken, yeah, buddy. So it's already in there. We already got the spices and everything on that bad boy. So it's gonna be yummy. So, hey, let's go in here and check out this here chicken. Here comes the beagles. Oh, here comes Mr. Hook. Yeah, buddy. Oh, there's Daisy and there's Rusty. Yeah, they come out. They're gonna come out and play and well, I cook and smoke and all that good stuff. So let's go check out yeah, this chicken. Use the chicken. That's it. I don't even know what kind of spices she put together on this thing, to be honest with you. <laughs> she put it, the Kim put it together and she's getting it all ready for us, you know. And we basted it with butter and she made up some spices and put them all together and we put it on the chicken. So we're going to be getting her done. Yeah, buddy. So. I'll bring you back here shortly when we All start. Right. Now that she's standing behind me, she can tell me what she put on this thing because I have not a clue. Smoky bacon barbecue seasoning, Cajun seasoning, seasoning salt, onion salt, garlic salt, and pepper. Oh, that's going to be a good mixture. Oh, yeah, buddy, because this sure does smell good. So I got her in here. I had to get her to explain what's on this here chicken. Yeah, but so This is my little pan that I put water in and... Today we're gonna use apple juice. Yeah, buddy. So, you know what, when I spruce it and everything like that, I'm gonna use apple juice and then with that, so we'll let it cook for a couple hours and then we'll start sprucing it with some apple juice. And I'm gonna pour the apple juice in here, put it over here, so that way everything won't be so dry. It helps it, yes it does. So let me get the apple juice in here and I got the apple juice in there, and the apple juice actually helps keep it moist, and so does the water. You know, I mean, it just all works together. And I'm, gonna, I'm using a different kind of charcoal that I'm not used to using. I have never used this kind of charcoal before, and uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. And like I said, so we got apple juice in there, and it helps keep the moisture up in the smoker while we smoke. Because we're going we're gonna to be smoking for a few hours, because it's a seven-pound chicken. It's a pretty good-sized chicken, actually. And... Uh, so it's a young chicken, so it's probably a fatty. So let's get over here, and I'll show you what kind of charcoal so we're using. This cowboy brand charcoal, oak and hickory, hardwood lump coal. Now I've never used this before. Let's get a little piece out of the bag here, and, and that's what it is. So I mean, that's this is the first time I ever used it. They say it lasts longer, and we'll see. You know, we're gonna check her out. Yeah, buddy. So let me bring you back here. Something sure. I can't stress enough. This is something that people do all the time. I don't do it. And the reason why I don't do it, because I don't want my food tasting like lighter fluid or gasoline or alcohol, whatever it is, or oil, whatever you guys is used to start your charcoal. So I got a charcoal chimney. And what I do with that is I put my charcoal in it. And I put me some paper underneath there. I light the paper. Then the paper lights the charcoal. That way you don't get no bad taste or bad smell or anything in your charcoal. So anyhow, let me turn this around. Like I always put me some paper down there on the bottom. Put me some charcoal on top. I didn't put a whole lot in there because I don't know how hot this charcoal burns. I never used it before. So we're gonna start that up and I have my little, yeah, I got my little cheater lighter here, right here. Yeah, buddy, gotta have a cheater. So I go ahead and I'll get this fired up. And once we get this fired up here, That'll help that charcoal get lit up. Yeah, buddy. It's already starting to smoke. We'll get rid of the skeeters. You know, go ahead and turn this off so we can save some gas. And uh, in this setup right here on this grill, <laughs> I use it for my Dutch oven. So that's why I got it set up like this. I was getting ready to throw it on. I'm like, wait a minute, man. We can use this for the Dutch oven. So that's what we normally use it for, and I use it to light my charcoal for my smoker. So and I just use a regular smoker. You know, it's an Oklahoma Joe. I've had this thing for a few years. My kids bought it for me, and it's been well used, and it's been well taken care of. So 
this is what we're using today to smoke that chicken. Yeah, buddy. So, and I do got some wood chips to put in there. So we're gonna make a really good chicken today. So let me bring you back. While we're waiting here, I'm waiting for the chicken really to uh, get up to room temperature, you know, cause I don't want to put it in there cold. And, you know, we're waiting for the charcoal to light. The wife's gonna go up and she's gonna get some fresh green beans to cook with the little tomatoes. You know, or not tomatoes, potatoes. <laughs> and uh, so we're just going to relax and enjoy the dogs and have a good day today. That's it. Yeah, buddy. We like to relax. And look, at there's my, there's my buddy. What are you doing, man? He's over there just smelling the wood. And we got Rusty. Here's Rusty. Hi, Rusty. Look at that big old butt. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, huh? That's a good looking dog there, ain't it? Hmm? Easy he is. It's a my buddy. Easy he is. And Mr. Hook's sitting on the end of the <laughs> deck there. <laughs> he don't like nothing to touch his butt. The bugs bother him. He runs to the door like a little sissy. Oh, there goes Penny. There goes Penny. Daisy's over there too. They got some kind of a scent. All right. I'll bring All righty. So. We got a nice burning coal in there. We'll go ahead and pick this up. Shake out some of the stuff in there. Yeah, buddy, that's hot. It's hot. It's on fire, baby. It's on fire. So we'll go ahead and we'll just go ahead and dump this down in there. Got ourselves some heat going there. And uh, probably could add a little bit more in there, but let's we'll shut this thing up and find out where we're going to be at. And some temperature here so we'll go ahead and get this shut down that way we can watch and see where our temperature is going to come up to and it's good and hot it's good and hot i'm glad i didn't put a lot of that in there because if i did it'd probably be really bad so what we'll get in there and let's open this up a little bit because when we start smoking the the chicken we don't want a heavy smoke you know too heavy a smoke makes it taste yeah kind of ruins the taste of it. So you want a nice light smoke. So, and we have a pretty nice light smoke coming out of here. Just, you know, not real heavy, but we're gonna bring up the temperature and see where we're at. And then uh, we'll bring the chicken out here and put it on here. And that temperature is rising pretty fast. So let me get the temperature and I'll bring you back. Okay, and like I says, we got a real fine smoke coming out. We're about 225, we, you know, we wanna stay around 225, 250. You start getting up to 300, you're getting into barbecuing and that, and it cooks a little too fast. So when you cook around 225, 250, it's a slow cook, it's an even cook, and boy, does it just make that chicken taste delicious. So I mean, I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna grab this chicken and we're gonna bring it out here and uh, load her up, baby. Alrighty, so we have the chicken, bring that back a little bit, get my finger out of the way. So I got the chicken in here. We got it on this on this stand, and it's real close to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and smoke it like this for a little bit, and then later on I'll I'll lay it down for when I start sprucing it and stuff like that. So we've got good heat coming out, not too much smoke. I'm gonna throw some wood on there too, and we're gonna get this baby a smoking. Alrighty. So like I said, we got nice thin smoke, smelling good, baby. Oh yeah, buddy. And we're at 250 degrees. Now this is a little closer to the fire, so it's a little over 250. And I have the chicken placed right here in the middle. So we're right where we want to be, you know. And like I said, we got a good thin smoke, nothing real heavy. And uh, we're just gonna keep on letting her smoke. So it's gonna be a few hours smoke. And it's a good thing you guys ain't gotta sit there and wait for it because with the miracle of internet and the miracle of video, it'll be a lot faster for you. But look it. I got Rusty running around. I got Miss Daisy over there sunbathing. She's getting a little older now. She's probably about six years old, seven years old. I love that dog. And then we got, let's go over here. Let's see what we got. We got Penny. I got Rusty following me. Ah, here's Mr. Hook. Mr. Hook, what are you doing? Yeah, buddy. And then we got, like, there's Penny. Always got her nose to the ground, man. I'm telling you what. I'm going to get her out in the woods this year. And then we got all this brush because I had to cut all that fence line up. So 
So we got all this brush we got to burn. I'm just kind of waiting for it to dry up a little bit and all that wood right there. So yeah, we got some stuff to do. It's still green, or I'd be cutting it today. All right, I'll bring you back. Mr. Hook, he's over here. Something's going on. That's our beagles excited. They've come now. I didn't get the good part of it. That's just they all were going at it here a minute ago. Mr. Chicken's been in here for a couple hours, so let's uh, give a little bit of apple juice, spruce them up a little bit. And I'm going to tell you something. I use room temperature apple juice. I don't put it in the refrigerator. Get down in there a little bit. Oh yeah, so we spruce her up a little bit. I'm getting ready to add some more charcoal to it. Figure why it's cooled off a little bit. I go ahead and. Spruce her up. Make it yummy. Yes, yes, yes. We'll go ahead and shut that back down. See how fast that temperature goes down? So it'll start climbing back up here real soon. And I got some more charcoal going. So we'll let that smoke simmer down a little bit. And then we'll uh, Add some more charcoal to it, so I'll bring you back here All shortly. Right, so let's check this out because this has been smoking for I don't know since 11, so 11, so about four hours. So, um, still at good temperature, we've had a good smoke all day long, you know, real, real fine smoke. Smells incredible, incredible. So, let's check this out. Oh, baby, look at that, huh. Is that pure sex or what? Oh, 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 nothing better than a naked chicken on a smoker. <laughs> so let's take a little plunge here and see where we're at. Well, I'm going to tell you something. We still got a long way to go, guys. A long way to go. But hey, we're cooking her low and slow, baby. Low and slow. So I'm gonna to have to say we got a few more hours on this bad boy. But man, does it look lovely. Look at that juice has come out of there. Did you see that juice come out of there? Oh yeah. So yep, we are good. We're good, man. We're good. I just need the that thing needs to be up to about I think around 185. So, let me uh, set this right here, and we'll, uh, let me spruce this up a little bit while I got it open. Well, I tell you, when I poke that thing in, this, the juices just come out of it. Mm-hmm, and how. So nice, so nice. So nice. So, all right, guys, let's shut her back up. All right, we'll bring yeah, it back. buddy, look at that. Ain't that thing beautiful? Oh yeah, it's just right. So we're gonna take that off right now and we're gonna put it in some foil and then we're gonna put it back on the uh, smoker and we're gonna let this thing rust for a little while because we're at like 162. So we're gonna put it in the foil and it'll help it cook a little bit better on the inside. So I'll bring you back. All right, you guys, this is our chicken. Yeah, buddy, look at all that juice, man. Oh, this thing's so juicy. It looks so good, it smells so good. Oh yeah, so the temp's at 165, actually it's at 170, but we're we're golden, we're golden. So we're gonna cut it up, we're gonna plate it up with some potatoes. Oh yeah, look at those, those look yummy. I might just steal me a little bite of that right now. Oh yeah, good and soft, mm-hmm, very good. And look at here, we got some green beans. 
Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, yeah, baby. We're going to be eating good tonight. So anyhow, let's get this all cut up, plated up, and I'll bring you back. All righty, guys. Look at that, man. Look at those potatoes, man. Those things are so good. I almost dropped it. Beagle thought he was going to get it. <laughs> look at that. Look at that smoke color. Mm-hmm. Man, does that look good. And green beans and potatoes and bacon. Oh, Lord. Let me get me a bite of this. Lord have mercy, boy. Look at that. Hmm? I'm going to tell you something. That is wonderful. Wonderful. Take a bite of that chicken, Heather. Let's see what we got. Let me see how I hear. Okay. We'll let her get a taste test of this right oh, here. Oh, gosh. You're going to put me in the video. Yeah, you're on the video. Oh, no. That looks terrible. Oh, my gosh. I'm just getting... It's really good. Oh, yeah, it's you like tender. that? <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, guys, we're going to eat our dinner, and wife's getting hers fixed up, and uh, I'll bring you back for a closing. You guys, I have to say the chicken didn't go to waste. <laughs> Look what we're getting ready to have for dessert. Yeah, well, buddy. we're going to have some banana pudding. <laughs> but for some reason, they buried all the wafers. <laughs> but they're there. Well, right. guys, I have to say... That smoked chicken turned out awesome. So did the green beans, the potatoes. Oh yeah, buddy. We're gonna get some banana pudding here after it cools off. Oh yeah, because it's freshly made. So all right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, man. You guys have a great rest of your day. And uh, you're awesome. I don't care what anybody says. Anybody tells you any difference, you tell them come see me and I'll tell them you're awesome. Have a great rest of your day. And again, happy Labor Day.